The leading cause of firefighter deaths continues to be due to stress and overexertion. This category of firefighter fatalities include cerebral vascular accidents, sudden cardiac death, and exertional heat stroke. Research from the military and fire service has demonstrated that the core body temperature of firefighters reach an average of 102 degrees Fahrenheit in just the first 30 minutes of structural firefighting, with heart rates exceeding 160 beats per minute. And here's the catch. The standard practice of removing your personal protective equipment for passive cooling alone does nothing to lower your temperature, putting you at risk for exceeding 104 degrees, which is the danger zone for exertional heat stroke. Medical rehab is the key to your safety. The standard rehab setup should include supplies for shade, seating, hydration, nutrition, and medical monitoring, but now we know that there must be mandatory rest periods that include active cooling stations. Using ice-cooled therapies such as towels applied to the neck and the head, shown to be effective in lowering the body temperature and restoring energy. Symptomatic heat exhausted firefighters can be initially treated by removal of PPEs and total arm immersion in ice water. Research has shown this to be one of the most effective cooling interventions and should be followed by ALS monitoring, treatment and transport if recovery does not occur based on our department's policy parameters. If a firefighter that is engaged in exertional work suddenly becomes altered or unresponsive with hot, pale, diaphoretic skin signs, it must be assumed that a heat stroke is occurring. Removal of all PPEs and total body immersion in ice water must be immediate, using a tarp or in this case a burn roll to wrap the firefighter in ice water that is maintained during transport to the most accessible receiving hospital. ALS procedures including IV fluid administration are done en route after cooling measures have begun.